welcome. Today is uh, July the 17th, and we have no saint, so we're open up with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, send your Spirit upon your church, that she may reveal to the world the love and also the compassion of your Son. Let her offer to her children the yoke of a gentle Savior, and not the yoke of a burdensome law. We ask this through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so today we're back to Isaiah, um, and we'll be looking at chapter 26, verses 7 to 9, 12, and then 16 to 19. The great prophet Isaiah was a master poet. Today's reading expresses the beautifully the futility of all our human efforts. We must look to God alone for justice and also vindication. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O oh Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth writhes and cries out in her pains, so were we in your presence, O oh Lord. We conceived and writhed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is the dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. So we find really the prophet is trying to say that uh, really, it is God who does, not we. And um, putting one's trust and one's confidence in God totally and completely is then giving God the ability to work in the life of the individual. But so many of us want to be in control of our own lives, and so therefore there's no room for God. God can't gig in, God can't work through us, and yet we are God's hands and we are His feet and we are His voice. We are his charity, we are his love, um, present to one another. And um, we find then um, the Lord um, gives us peace, but if we are not at peace and letting go and letting God, um, then we find that we have no peace in ourselves to be able to share with others. And um, so we find that our, our punishment comes that we feel um, somewhat oppressed. And um, I think that problem happens to a lot of people who are not feeling the presence of God in their life and feeling at peace with themselves. Um, they are anxious, worried, troubled. Um, and so their lives express that reality. Um, and we see it, I mentioned to Rosa Maria today driving down um, from North Fresno, I have to get used to driving again um, on 41. I can remember when 41 was built and I traveled from um, north because I was at St. Anthony's to south and there was nobody on the freeway but me. And then slowly the people got, began to to try the freeway. I, I think there was a bit of fear by people who were first um, driving the freeway. And then it um, got a little more use and a little more use. Well, this morning I'm coming down after the 7.30 Mass at Holy Spirit, and uh, I'm on the freeway by 10 after 8, and I'm noting that um, from Friant to 41, 41 to McKinley, um, that uh, people are out for themselves. Um, they don't care about anybody else on the road, um, and they're intense on trying to make it to work 
um, in the time allotted and for them, for most who were in the cars, probably time was very short. So they, they just pull out, pull in, um, and uh, no blinker. And so the process is that um, they really are individuals who um, are really not at peace with themselves. Um, and so the Lord wants us to be in peace. And in order to be in peace, um, we have to um, note that he's with us on the journey. And we also have to note that life is not always going to be the easiest, but it, life with Christ Jesus is always going to be filled with the most peace, peace of mind, peace of spirit, peace of, of the sense of my life in relationship to the world that I live in. So being at peace is so very important. And it's hard for us to be at peace because, you know, there's many uh, families are constantly busy with constant activities. And you've got to fight for that peaceful time. That's you right. have to really carve it out of your life so that you, you have that time to reconnect with your, with Jesus, with our Heavenly Father, and, and keep those lines of communication open. So it's not just all about the busy everyday things in our lives, but let's not lose touch with the really important things that make our lives meaningful. And I think that people really um, become so caught up with their life um, that they're just living in, in a madhouse. Um, mm. And um, they're, they're just not people um, who can find peace easily. That's why a lot of times in homilies that I've, I've used at the end, um, why don't you take an opportunity to go in your backyard with a nice shade tree with a cool drink in your hand and reflect on this question. And, and I try to give a question for meditation every day in the parish that I'm in. Um, you know, think about this today. Think about this today. Um, so that um, some the people who do take an opportunity to think about the questions that are given um, outside under a nice shade tree with a cool drink in their hand, um, peace comes, you know, peace comes. But um, if you're busy trying to get here, get there, get this finished, get this child to this place, um, to get them back home, get dinner made, all of this goes on, there's just no peace. That's true. So we have to, and it, and then what do we have is we have many stressed people. So yes, and of course, stressed people are doing what? Oh, getting angry and sinning, <laughs> making a lot of mistakes. And then some some are needing to um, get themselves at peace. Uh, so if you're in particular states, uh, you're smoking weed. Oh, we're having a little too much. To drink. Beer, <laughs> a little too much to drink, yeah. You know, it's, it's amazing. And all those things really are cover-ups because they cannot create a peaceful environment for you um, for um, eternity. They can only do it for a time, right. and then it wears out. Then I need more. Not a deep and everlasting, and longing peace. That's right. And that's something that only can come with God. So... We hope that you'll take an opportunity um, to take some time for yourself and to reflect on where you're going and also what you're doing, and you'll find peace. Bye-bye.